Hi folks, I've been sent this tripod, the Zome M6, to review. It's described as a professional grade aluminum alloy travel sized tripod. So I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I have some thoughts as to why this might or might not be a good choice for you. So in this review, I'll be making a few comparisons to the Zome Z699C carbon fiber tripod that I reviewed back in April of 2018. Hey there. Hey Kitty. That's Tom Selleck, by the way. My wife named him. So when I opened the box and pulled this out, one of the things that jumped right out at me that I was very excited about is the legs have lever locks rather than screw locks. I find lever locks to be easier and quicker to adjust. So I was glad to see that. So the M6 comes in at about 18 inches long, whereas the 699C is 14 or 15 inches long. Now you can see side by side that the M6 is a little beefier. But what's interesting is this is about a half pound lighter. The M6 is about a half pound lighter. They're both very light tripods. This is 3.06 pounds. This is about 3.5 pounds. Though it's slightly larger than the 699C, I had no problems attaching it to the outside of my backpack. So if space is at a real premium for you, um, you may want to consider going with the smaller size 699C. So if you want to make the M6 a, a little smaller, a little tighter, you can unscrew the ball head and store it in this included pouch. And that way the legs will fold in a little tighter, making it slightly more narrow. The M6 extends to a maximum height of 64 inches, which is about four inches taller than the 699C. The ball head on the M6 is slightly smaller than the 699C, but I really didn't see any difference. They both perform very, very well. Another option is you can actually flip the head so that it's on the bottom. That's pretty simple to do. And again, this works on both of the, of the tripods. You just unscrew this bottom, pull out the center column, and then just reinsert it. Your camera's here. It's low to the ground. Now, of course, your image, when you take the image, it's going to be upside down. But that's easy enough to fix in post. You just use the, the flip effect to flip it upright. One of the things that I really like about these ball head tripods is how easy it is to level the head. Uh, you just unscrew this, see the little bubble there, make sure that it's level, and then you mount your camera. Uh, another thing that I like is that it's very easy to pan, pan left and right. On the M6, on the M6, we've got the tightening and loosening button here, and then you've got this red knob, which gives really good purchase to just pan real smoothly. And uh, I like that aspect. One thing that is a challenge for me with these ball heads is tilting. It's easy to go left and right, but tilting. Um, with, a, with a standard tripod, you've got your tripod handle. You've got your head handle that makes it easier to tilt up and down. With these ball heads, um, you've really got to hold it secure and just tilt it down, tilt it up. It's possible, but I just don't think it's as smooth as with a lever. If you have tips for how to tilt uh, smoothly with a ball head tripod, I would love to hear about it. Now let's talk about my two favorite reasons why I love these smaller travel tripods, vlogging and run and gun shooting. Bracing two of the legs against your waist and holding the center tube with one hand gives you a very steady on the go vlogging setup. So in addition to uh, having a full-time job as a videographer and doing freelance videography, I have a bunch of hobbies and interests. And one of those is woodworking. And I've been lucky enough to be given two old barns that um, I'm taking down and salvaging the wood. Whenever I have time, I'm just coming here, tearing off some of the siding 
and, um, and salvaging the wood. And uh, I've already made uh, a desk, I've made a, a dresser, and that's just one of the many things that I like to do in my spare time, which um, is pretty funny because I don't have a lot of spare time. And what I love about this setup, as opposed to a shoulder rig or an expensive gimbal, is that it not only gives you a stable image, but it allows you to put it down quickly if you need to. No laying the camera down on its side, uh, which I was doing with my old shoulder rig, not so good for the camera. Um, and if you have a, a gimbal that doesn't have uh, legs on it, uh, you know, then you're hunting around, where did I put the stand? Where did I put the stand? But with this getup, you just set it down and you can run off and, you know, fetch yourself some more batteries or whatever. One of the things I was really eager to try with the M6 tripod is mounting my Edelkrone slider on top of it. Stupid me, I forgot this little adapter that comes with the Edelkrone. So unfortunately, when I was out in the field, I was not able to actually mount the uh, ball head onto the uh, Edelkrone. So what I did was I just mounted the camera directly to it. And the reason is because the ball head is 3 8 and I only had a one quarter mount here. So I got some excellent results holding the center post with my left hand and working the slider with my right hand. So just to show you that it does indeed work when you have the right adapter. So here is the ball head from the M6 mounted on the slider. Now, what this allows you to do is you can get many more angles for your sliding. You can turn it any way you want. It's a lot easier to manipulate how you want it to slide. If you want it to push in, push back, or if you want it to go side to side, uh, having the ball head it, uh, makes a big difference. Both tripods have the monopod option. Uh, there's a designated leg that you unscrew, and on the M6, you insert this little adapter, and then you just simply screw your head on top of that bolt. And then you have a pretty tall monopod. The M6 comes with this plastic cell phone holder, so you just unscrew the ball head, screw this on top of your tripod, and you can shoot video with your cell phone. It also comes with an Allen wrench if you need to adjust the tension on the legs. So that's my review of the M6 and the features that are important to me. I'm very impressed with the M6. Uh, for $69.99, it's, it's a very solid uh, tripod. So if you're deciding between the two or, or two tripods similar, you have three things uh, to weigh. First is price, $69, $129. Second, size. Is the smaller 699C a priority for you over the three inches taller M6? Um, and the third thing is the locking leg mechanisms. Do you prefer the screw locks or do you prefer the lever locks? So I hope that this video helped you in your decision if you are looking to buy a travel size tripod. Uh, again, I own both the M6 now and the uh, 699C, I, I love them both. I think it's gonna be my go-to tripod for um, using my Edelchrome slider. I love the smaller size of my 699C when I'm traveling overseas for video shoots and space is limited. I may lean towards taking the smaller one, but you have to decide what are your priorities. And like I said, I hope this video has helped in some way.